Hello, I'm Anthony and today we'll be unboxing one of these. This is a Turtle Beach XL1 headset. This is specifically designed for the Xbox 360. So what we'll do is we will identify our Do Not Steal Me stickers. We can see that we have one here and one here. Those look like the only ones that are keeping us from the inside of the box. So let's go ahead and creatively remove those. As always, anytime you're working with a blade or a sharp object, make sure that you are being as safe as possible, as you only get 10 fingers. Alright, so now that we've identified our two Do Not Steal Me stickers, we should now, after we've cut them out, we should now be able to open the package. I could be wrong. And making sure that we are not going towards any limbs or appendages. There we go. Beautiful. Now that we've actually opened that, we can go ahead and Very nice. Now, the packaging here actually has me wondering. This is a very nice package that they have put in this. Okay? As you can see, it was designed to be shown. It was designed to be shown off. However, it was placed into a box with no clear front window. And no flaps to open it to see. So that makes me wonder if maybe this is the original packaging, or maybe this is something they decided to do later. I don't know. All right, so now that we've got it out of the box, let's go ahead and remove our plastic cover to reveal the headset itself. Now, before we get into that, let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories, which include your standard letting you know what to and what not to do with this product. Uh, for the most part, do not eat it, don't burn it, don't feed it to your neighbor's dog. Um, that pretty much covers the general gist of it. Also, try not to jump in the bathtub while wearing this. Just general safety guideline. Here we have a, uh, a nice little, um, it's a male-to-male -male adapter for the unit. One end would fit into, let's see here. Ah, yes. Uh, this is for game console compatibility. And here we go. <clears throat> very nice. This is something that uh, Turtle Beach has become known for, is this very nice uh, chat slash game um, adapter here uh, that allows you to uh, independently change the volume of the chat, the game, also mute the microphone, and sometimes on the more expensive ones, this is a little something extra too. Sometimes bass, sometimes treble. Very nice. Of course, here we have the USB adapter. We also have the RCA red and white. Uh, for those of you who don't remember, there was a time where this was the only audio adapter. Very nice to see that that is still alive and kicking. All right. So of course, these are the protective caps that you see me here playing with. Uh, those are not actually used. Uh, and they are, um, they are flow-through adapters, so you don't actually give up a spot when you're using this. Very nice. Okay, so on to the headset itself. The headset comes with a nice boom mic. It does click into place. That can probably get annoying. Um, and it is very flexible. Put it into just about any position you'd like. So whether you're gaming or using Linux to take over the world, you can use this headset. Uh, the use of uh, green is very nice. And it does add kind of a razor feel to it, in my personal opinion. Um, but maybe that's just uh, this model and why and they've chosen because maybe it competes with razor. Mm, interesting. Um, okay, so they are foam padded ears. Uh, feels like a very dense foam. 
Um, almost an uncomfortably dense foam. The head padding um, is made out of a pleather material with foam underneath. Um, doesn't seem that comfortable, but let's see. Well, it's made for a head smaller than mine. There we go. Actually, it's very lightweight. It's not uncomfortable. And I don't feel like this headset would have a heat buildup problem. I could be wrong, and further testing will will definitely prove that point, but this uh, seems like a decent headset. Um, as long as it sounds decent, then uh, yeah, this one has my vote of approval. This is one of those rare gems, and of course I haven't fully tested it, so I don't know, but so far it seems like one of those rare gems where you've got a decently priced headset that performs well as far as comfort. Interesting. Well, that's everything that's in the box. If you have any experience with this unit or any unit like it, let us know in the comment section down below. If you have any questions about it, please let me know and I will do my best to answer those. Um, I do have a couple of weeks with this before I have to return it to the company as this is a review unit. Uh, till next time, I'm Anthony. Like, subscribe, comments please.